Hej, har vi nogen fyrst på god. Velkommen tilbage til Game of Thrones. Da 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 da. Ja. <laughs> Nej, vi kan se. Øhm, lad os se, vi startede med... Ja, vi har lige været igennem med listningerne. Jeg bliver nødt til at skubbe ned og træne med de her lyst. Så, Celtica. You were as excited as a virgin to see your hero behead that poor Goral, weren't you? Watch your tongue, peasant. Lowborn scum like you often end up the same way. Oh, just listen to him. Still with his milk teeth that he wants to roar. Who knows, you little shit. I may even have been the one to squirt you into your mother's belly. <laughs> One more word like that, and I'll send you back to the shit heap where you were born. Shut up, knight or thief. You are all brothers now, and equal before the gods. You will fight only when I order you to. Pardon me. My vows should be stronger than my roots. Fight, fight, oh, indeed, fight, fight. my lad. Here, you're officially brother to swine and rapers. <laughs> Since I must train you, I'll show you why you must stay united. Attack me, one at a time. You're made of. Please. Moors, we must speak. I've just returned from the infirmary with some very sad news. Maester Eamon would do nothing to save the boy. He has succumbed to his wounds. They were too grave. I will make the culprit pay. I knew that I could count on you. Before he died, the boy had enough strength to give us the name of his tormentor. He is one of ours, Cregan. Cregan? First Gorold deserts, and now one of our best veterans betrays his vows? You know what I expect from you, Moors. Cregan is leading the Western Patrol. They left this morning. Cregan. I will leave immediately. <laughs> Shall I take the new brothers with me to track down Cregan? They may still smell like summer, but I need them to learn how to patrol the wall. On the other hand, you'll have to do without Patrick. The builders need him. All right, Jaw. Cregan certainly is a big fellow. I know. He's almost as good a fighter as you. Do not endanger your new brothers too much. We are too short of men to waste them. If you hurry, you should be able to catch up with him in the ruins of the Icemark Fort. Understood. One final thing. I received a raven bearing news that concerns you. A knight in the service of the King's Hand is riding towards Castle Black. He is coming especially to speak to you. 
the hand of the king, eh? I wonder what he wants with me. I was actually hoping that you could enlighten me on that matter. My life belongs to the Night's Watch, Jor. I left the Game of Thrones behind long ago. So be it. May the gods speed you. Listen here, you crows. We meet at the West Gate and leave within the hour. Patrick, vengeance calls for several weak spots along the wall. Jeg kommer til at gå det hele igennem Hvad er det ikke? Fordi måske er der noget vigtigt Så det er der aldrig Aldrig nogensinde Og alligevel så gør jeg det hver gang Lige når jeg kigger der Så lægger den helt sindssygt I have finished restoring the statuette that you entrusted me with just before you left to track down Gorold. Really? Let's have a look. I must say it was a true pleasure. Brothers normally ask me to paint them a pretty woman with big teats and spread legs. But I must say that this is a little more original. I realize we aren't the best of friends, but this statue is a work of art. I hope I treated it with the attention it deserved. I'm rather proud of my work. I returned it to its original colors, and it looks like new. It's beautiful work, Walda. I have never seen such a striking likeness of the warrior. It's as if you have given him life. It would appear the frost has not completely eaten away my hands. I hope you don't regret the price you paid for this job. Not at all. 
This statue is worth more than you can imagine. True. Actually, I have a vague idea of it. I've already seen this kind of work in the past, but only once. At the Great Sept of Baylor of King's Landing. I recall legends telling of statues made by the first disciples of the Seven, when they still strode the hills across the narrow sea. They were carved into a star that the Seven had torn from the heavens. These statues depicted the true face of the gods, just as they were when they showed themselves to the Andals. And it is said that the Andals' greatest heroes carried them off when they snatched Westeros from the first men and the ancient gods. How could a man such as yourself find himself in possession of such a precious object? I've never taken you to be such a devout man. This statuette of the warrior has always belonged to my family, as far back as the bloodline stretches. It is because of this that he walks alongside us. Have you heard of the Battle of the Field of Fire? Ah, now there's another great tale. At the time of Aegon the Conqueror's conquest, the Lannister King and the King of the Reach united their forces to fight the Targaryen and their dragons. This is not just any old tale. This battle really took place, and it was the greatest massacre in the history of the Seven Kingdoms. On that day, more than 4,000 knights perished in the fire of those three great dragons. Amory Westford, my ancestor, fought under the colors of the lion, as is our duty. When the shadows of the dragons blotted out the sky, and their fire engulfed both men and beasts, he prayed for his life, as he had never done before. He swore then, on his immortal soul, that he would search for and gather all seven, collecting the six other statues which accompany the warrior. Amory survived, and he set about his quest to give thanks to the seven. He never succeeded, and our bloodline inherited his oath. I imagine that faith comes more easily when one rushes into the jaws of such monsters. It's a beautiful tale, all the same. You know, I could maybe help you keep this ancient promise, Mors. Let's just say that I'm interested. What do you hope to gain from it? Sometimes it's pleasing to be able to work on something just because it's beautiful, Mors. What I want is to finish what I've begun, before I'm judged by the Father. Would you do it for free? I've not taken so much joy in anything since I chose to take the black, and you know how important the faith is to me. If I could help you accomplish this sacred vow of your ancestors, I'd be paying homage to the gods for all their graces. And how would you do that? This statuette. It was created to be part of the Group of Seven. Yes, we already spoke of it. Wait, you don't understand. I've studied it closely, and I can tell you it was made to be bonded to other objects carved from the same strange rock. Probably a bracelet or an amulet that the Andal warriors bore, like the seven-pointed star they carved into their chests. I believe I'm capable of reconstructing such a work. More than 4,000 years after its imagining, it would be magnificent. Truly a wonderful dream, Walder. But finding the other six gods would prove very difficult. And even if I did, imagine their state. I can restore them, just as I brought the warrior back to life for you. These statuettes are not unique, though extremely rare. I told you I remember seeing three whole sets in the great Sept of Baelor. You speak of a world which is closed to us, my brother. I'd be happy to share this dream with you. If you ever manage to lay your hands on another of these precious relics, I doubt it would be in good repair. But I can restore all their beauty for you. I thank you, Warder. Yeah, indeed, your help would be invaluable to me. Truly? Well, 
All that remains for me is to pray to the Seven that they finally bestow their kindness upon you, Morse. We have what remains of our lives to find out. May the warrior guide your arm, and the crone light your way. And may the father forgive you for everything else. You're bloody right there, brother. Hey. Can I do that? You swear to see one helps. Ah, oh, you really are stupid. Uh, Jesus Christ, what the f Look how they're gorgeous. Okay, Cornell! What the fuck? <laughs> oh my god, okay, it so by good. Hell of fortune me storm. <laughs> No. Yeah. Yeah. Hi. Okay. So I'm gonna look at Kate with all this. What's wrong? Um. Ah, God. Uh. Okay, let it. Let's just see if we can do it. Så bare fordi der er en ting Nå, gør den bare fordi der er en ting her Ja, som det Som det også er Jeg tror det er en spørgsmål Jeg vil ønske dig et par spørgsmål Hvis du har tid Gå ahead og ønsk Her i Castle Black De brødre fortæller mange tale om dig De snakker om de legendære battles du har fået Før du begyndte The Night's Watch Og om hvordan du ønsker det navn The Butcher Faced for the barbarians from beyond the wall The wildlings? Just what do you think you know about them, lad? I heard that they're bloodthirsty barbarians who worship the White Walkers and mate their women with the Others. They sometimes try to claw their way over the wall to steal our women and destroy our land, thirsting for our blood. Se, på den ene side, så tror jeg ikke, at Morsen vil tale, men nu hvis vi... Ved... Prøv på at lave sådan en... Men jeg har virkelig lyst til at vide, hvad der skete med ham før. The same old stories. The White Walkers. Jeg skal tale The Others. The wildling legends about the Others are even worse than ours. Åh, oh, kom! They don't worship them at all. In fact, they fear them. They have much more to fear than we do. Because they don't have the wall. If the White Death were to come, Nothing would protect them. But men love to fear myths. We've been waiting for them for 8,000 years, and nobody's ever seen the others or the White Walkers. The Wildlings are a real danger. However, they are normal men, like any other, which is exactly why they are such a threat. They attack when they're hungry, or when their balls are too full. There's nothing more dangerous than a hungry man. To be starving and ready to do anything to survive. I've been there. That's why I invited him. Enough talk. Listen, Kragen is well liked by his men. He's a good leader. God, that they may not take kindly to us going after him. Be ready for anything. If there's trouble, stay together. Keep an eye on the brother fighting by your side, and all should be fine. By the seven. I hope that it won't come to us fighting our own brothers. What? You're not from a fighting family, Pod? Oh, it feels just like home to me. Right. Quiet now. We have a mission to accomplish. The Lord Commander is counting on us. Okay, let's go start. <coughs> Ja, ja, tak. Det tager ikke forfærdeligt lang tid at man lov. Det kunne have været meget bedre. På den anden side af grafikken er jeg ikke sindssyg. Er det ikke sindssygt, at jeg synes, at jeg bruger den smil? Hahaha. 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 Haha
Is there nothing left alive along the way? Wall? I'm so cold! It's even worse than I'd imagined! What the fuck? Oh shit, Dean. Wild thing. I know wild thing. We need to find out more. But there are only four of us. Could there be more of them? Four brave sworn brothers of the Night's Watch. You wanted action, right? Well, this is it. So stop whining. <laughs> it's madness, Sir Mors. We don't know. We'll try to remember that, sir. We must leave, Sir Mors. We don't have a chance. Remember what happened to Gorold, Poddy. Jesus if fucking I Christ, must die, fucker. at least I'll plant my dagger in my killer's eye. I hope that it will be so, Ronit. Cregan was carrying the keys to the fort. They're probably still on his body. Handle. 